A short poem recited by a young boy from Harlem made a huge impact to Governor Hochul's inauguration on Sunday. All right, Ashley Rodriguez introduces us to nine-year-old poet laureate Caden Hearns. I used to be a child of poverty, not knowing that hopes and dreams can become reality. The hopes and dreams of nine-year-old Caden Hearn became reality on Sunday. Please welcome Harlem's own Caden Hearn, the poet laureate of the 2023 inaugural ceremonies. When Governor Kathy Hochul chose him to read his poem, In My Mind, at her swearing in. In my mind, I thought it was fine to sit in the back of the classroom because my teacher never asked me to read or write. But little did she know I was ever so bright. As the Kip Star Harlem Elementary student read, Hochul looked on with pride. She handpicked her young poet after meeting Caden by chance outside the Apollo Theater. I saw this young man stand there. I said, you going in to watch somebody? He goes, no, I'm a poet. I'm going to go recite. And he gave me a poem and I said, if I win this election, you are my poet laureate and I want you here. What do you like about poetry? What I like about poetry is how you can express your words. Caden and his co-writer, his grandmother, Jackie Hearn, started writing poetry as a pandemic project. I was thinking about like some things are not fair to people. The fourth grader said he was stuck inside watching the news and the aftermath of the killing of George Floyd. He was asking a lot of questions. Why is this and why is that? So I said, let's sit down and write your thoughts and your feelings. Who am I? Faith that racism will be a thing of the past. Jackie signed him up for amateur night at the Apollo and word of his powerful recitals spread. And that's what I heard in my mind. When the whole room stands up and applauds for you. Yes. What did that feel like? It felt good um, to have the opportunity to recite my poem in, in front of that many people and makes me want to like help the world. Is that what you aim to do with your poetry? Yes. Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.